SPF, very important. My mum's trick. Oh. <laughs> Already a domestic. <laughs> oh, surprise. Gonna do that again because that didn't make English sense. Hello and welcome back to Superdrug TV. I hope you are all looking forward to that long bank holiday weekend. Before that, we have a jam-packed show for you today. Coming up, we have Jacqueline Jossa back in the studio telling us her 10 favourite Superdrug products under £10 each. I feel like a good brush goes a long way um, and it really, really does help. Imogen from Imogen Nation and her beautiful mum is talking all things hormones throughout different stages of your life. You struggled at the very beginning of the menopause more because you got early menopause. Yeah, I got the early menopause. Yeah, perimenopause, you were early menopause. Which I didn't know much about. Lastly, we have the beautiful Evie from Skin Perfect talking us through the new Me Plus products. And this has a lovely finish. It gives the skin such a lovely glow. Now remember to like, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well so you never miss an episode. I guess we better start the show. Already a domestic. <laughs> oh, surprise. Hello, everyone. My name is Imogen from the YouTube channel Imagination, and this is my mum. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm really excited. We're here with Superdrug TV, and we're going to talk all things hormones, menopause, the different changes that we go through as women. So stay tuned because what we're going to be doing is I've got a big bucket here. I was meant to have a glass bowl, but we'll just go with the fact that Let's I'm renovating. So we're going to ask each other, answer them completely honestly, and just have a general chit chat like mums and daughters do. Let's oh, go. Okay. Let's get the glasses on oh, though wow. because we can't read otherwise. Sexy woman. So what's the one piece of advice for soon to be first time mums that you never got? For me, the biggest thing I could ever say to someone is your priority changes and that you have to understand that you're not just thinking about yourself anymore. You're sort of protecting someone else now, so it's not about you, it's about your little human. Yeah, and yeah. enjoy every day. Yeah, every so day. It'll go so quick and then she'll yeah. be out and you'll be like, oh, my pregnancy's gone. True, don't wish the pregnancy away. Yeah. What measures have you put in place to safeguard your mental well-being? Everything from the practical, like exercise regimes and taking supplements to daily well-being rituals. Uh, I walk the dog mm -hmm. through the forest. That's beautiful. I do it very early in the morning, sometimes half six, seven. Being on my own mm -hmm. and shutting the door and going away from everybody is really, really good. And I'm just always trying to drink more water, which I haven't been very good at. You recently. make sure as well you take your vitamin supplements. Yes, so I take my vitamin su supplements too. So <laughs> she, she I can never about say saying it. it. <laughs> have you got stretch marks during pregnancy? And so, what have you used on them? I use creams, just some stretch mark creams. You'd be but very good at listen, you. creams. I don't think will ever prevent your body from stretching. I have got stretch marks, I'm proud of them. Aside from the physical effects of the menopause, how has it affected your moods and mental well-being? The moods are really hard sometimes because you're tired and you just sort of have to, well, I mean, what was the question? <laughs> You struggled at the very beginning of the menopause more because you got early menopause. Yeah, I got the early menopause. Yeah, perimenopause, you were early which menopause. I didn't know much about. No, and you were suffering quite, quite badly in a way. Yeah, you were quite I was. low. Yeah. Um, you felt like you were getting the hot flushes. Yeah, they all came. Flatulence. You get bad wind with it. Honestly, that was my first sign of being pregnant. I think that's one of the questions later. Oh, it's of course it? we'd have flatulence. We blame it on that, but really it was just us. No, it's worse. Yeah. It's worse. Yeah, no. And like someone said to me. It's something it's to do egg, with menopause like as egg. well. No, no, mine don't smell. Just with the mood swings, I just mm. started to notice that this isn't periods anymore, mm. this is something more. Um, and then I was talking to other people about it, but it wasn't really spoken about. So it was almost like- it's still not a bit, You felt alien, and to be honest, I felt embarrassed of it. I feel like you've definitely got through that harder patch. Yeah. It's still hard some days, but I think you deal with so many different stresses and different things at the Oh house. yeah, I haven't got a really calm, no. relaxing environment <laughs> because of it. Have you noticed any skin changes whilst pregnant? Yes, I have. I get like these dark spots. So oh, like, I remember those. Did you get them? About those, yeah, these little blemish things. Yeah. They're really weird. They're like a burnt mark. Yes. I See, I've just been using sort of softer, more gentle products on my skin because I just feel like that's what I've needed. I've needed more gentleness, mm. making SPF the most prominent part of my skincare. Blood rushes to your skin. Yeah, it does. It you tans. pick up tan so quickly when you're pregnant yeah. and you can burn so quickly. Mm. So SPF has been the number one. What are your tips for magic managing mood swings? Do you take any supplements to help with this or do you swear by something like calming lavender oil? Oh, without a doubt. Essential oils are the one. There are so oh, many yeah. essential oils you're not allowed though during pregnancy, um, but I do have lots of calming mists with lavender in. Um, yeah. They've just saved me so much. Like we have this one mist that we spray on the pillow at night, every night, and it just calms me down so much. You've sworn by lavender. I remember you used to put mm, little things in our. I still love lavender. Yeah, you love lavender, I and love it's very calming. Oils. So yeah, essential oils, but only ones that you can actually use. What would you like to see 
happen to normalise the conversation around the perimenopause and menopause so they no longer feel like taboo subjects. Let's have a menopausal aisle. Let's yeah. have it out there. Let's put the word up there. Yeah. Perimenopause, menopause, skin care. Something to be shameful. Oh, put it we've, out got there. Whole, like, we've, we've got periods. a whole line. We've got periods. Yeah. We've got sanitary towels. Yeah. And we've got, you know, let's get a perimenopause, menopause aisle that has real life pictures of women. Because we're living longer, because we're losing so much estrogen, it's actually quite bad on the body. So we need to help by replacing the supplements and things to help mm. keep that boosts of those mm -hmm. energy levels and that hormone going because it's not like the old days when people did only live to 50 or 60 mm -hmm. now they're going on to 80 90 100 mm -hmm. i think we should get, get out, out there things. talk about things more the only way it's ever going to become less of a taboo subject yeah. is if we make it not one by talking yeah exactly it's oh my it. god uh, super drug tv we smile you smashed it Mum should be like a. I'm sorry, but you should be a spokeswoman about for things like menopause. I'd love to do something. Anyone? I'd love to be a spokesperson. Anyone want to take her on it? I'd love to be. I'd love to be a spokesperson, like what they call motivational speakers. Yeah. You, oh, you'd be amazing. People working with young children that need support. Yeah. Support. Well, I love you guys. Definitely go and check yeah. out my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy the Super Drug TV content. And yeah, if you want to see any more from me and Mum, definitely let Super Drug know because we'll yeah. hit them up. Yeah. I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm gonna love you. And I'm gonna leave you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Ah, oh, that was so lovely. I need to go and pay my mum a visit so we can have a cup of tea and a good old chin wag. Now over to the lovely Evie with the perfect skin regime. Hi everyone, my name is Evie and I will be showing you my morning skincare routine with Superdrug using the new Me Plus products. So if you want to see how I achieve this morning glow, make sure you stay tuned. What I'll be using is this BHA toner. This contains 2% salicylic acid and this is really good if you've got any breakouts, any kind of additional texture on your skin that you want to address. And what I do is I just apply it to the areas of my skin that I'm more prone to texture and breakouts. So for me, this is my T-zone my chin, this center area of my forehead. It's really important not to over exfoliate your skin and just use what your skin needs. I'm gonna work that up into a bit more of a lather, avoiding my delicate eye area. And then I'm just going to rinse it off. Next, I'm gonna be using the Vitamin C Booster. Now this contains in it 2% vitamin C. You can add this to your other serums or you can use it on its own, but I love this. It's great for brightening out skin, evening your skin tone. If you've got anything like dark spots and blemishes, it's really, really good at that. So I'll just apply this all over my face. And it gives the skin such a lovely glow. Next we have moisturiser and I'm going to be using the Ceramides moisturiser um, with amino acids. It's not greasy, it's quite light but it's still very rich and it's really really good because ceramides help to protect our natural skin barrier uh, and just make sure that your skin is in really good health, it's not getting irritated, it's not compromised in any way. So I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. And that's such a lovely finish on the skin. Not greasy at all. And finally, no morning routine would be complete without an SPF. So I'm going to go in with the SPF 30 booster. Oh, it's a really nice lightweight, almost oily texture, but not greasy. Um, and it just sits really beautifully all over the skin. And make sure we get our neck. That's where you see one of the first signs of ageing, so you really want to protect that from UVA and UVB rays. And this has a lovely finish, it gives the skin such a lovely glow, really, really dewy. And that is the finished the five step skincare routine. It was so, so easy and really quick. My skin definitely feels really plump and healthy and nourished, um, so that's always the goal. And plus, the glow, I mean, we can't complain. I love, love this dewy kind of glowy look um, that these products have given my skin. So definitely check these products out um, and you can also check my page out if you want any more skincare tips. I'm on Skin Perfect on Instagram and yeah, that is the final look. Thank you for tuning in. What's my fantasy? To live in a limitless world where my dreams become reality. Fantasy. Everybody has one. Now celebrating 15 years of Britney Spears fantasy. Hi guys, Jacqueline Josser here. I am here with Superdrug TV celebrating the health and beauty card 10 year anniversary. I popped to Superdrug this morning and I got 10 bits all under 10 pounds. I'm going to show you what I got. So I'm going to start with 
So this is hydration mist. Even when you've got makeup on or no makeup on, I feel like sometimes when you've had makeup on for like three hours, four hours, it can kind of like start cracking and breaking up. So this just helps hydrate the skin. And I just go, oh, it smells so good as well. Love. Next we have, okay. This little makeup brush for your eyes. Can't go wrong. I love a makeup brush. I'm listen. I'm not a makeup artist, so I feel like a good brush goes a long way, um, and it really, really does help, especially when you don't know what you're doing. I feel like that having a good brush and just like circular motions round and round really does help. Next, we have concealer. I'll be honest. I don't always wear a foundation day to day. I, I really do like just like a natural look, so I'll do like concealer, even just a little bit of this just to like give me that dewy effect. Mascara, a lip, maybe a bit of bronzer and that's me, that's me done. What else have I got? Nails, I picked up some nail polish because I just think you can never have enough. And I actually don't have loads, so I'm glad I've got these now. I'll pick these colors because I think they're absolutely glorious. Love them. Something nice, bright and pops and then we've got a nude tone as well. Now, I'm all into skincare, so I believe every girl needs a night cream and a day cream. I do generally feel like every time I do a night, night moisturise, I wake up and my skin looks so much better. Again, I know I keep mentioning it, but hydration is key. This one here smells glorious. I wish I, I, wish I had smell-o-vision. Really, really nice. It's thicker than the day, obviously, but I feel like you can take it when you're just going to bed. Love. Back to makeup. We've got this shimmer highlight. Adore. I love highlight. Sometimes I put this, like, I can do this on eyelids as well. It's, it looks quite light, but it's actually like quite sheer, if you know what I mean. It's not, it's not hardcore highlight. It's quite subtle. Love, love, love. The day cream. Let's go day cream. This is the Naturally Radiance. This is the Super Drug own brand, I think. It's actually got SPF 15 in. Let me open it. This is the day cream, so it's thinner than this one. You pop that on either before makeup or just no makeup at all, and it just really just brightens and hydrates the skin. Oh, heavenly! This smells so good. I feel like I feel like I can get cucumber and dip, <laughs> dip cucumber, and I would eat that. I really would. Okay, next. SPF, very important. My mum has always used sun cream. Always on her face. She is 60, I won't say her full age because she will kill me, but she looks good for her age. And I really do think it's because she's protected her skin like her whole life. So, SPF, factor 50, baby, lay on thick, love it. And these multi acid texture pads, these are exfoliating and brightening for the skin. They've got like tiny little beads, I don't know if you can see, but like they're so good for just getting the dead skin off your face. I absolutely love, like to me, using these to take every, anything else off, giving them a little exfoliate, and then like a night cream before you go to bed. Stunning work, and then wake up, boom. Little bit of this, bit of the concealer, job done. So guys, if you wanted to check out any of these products, you can whack them in your basket. There'll be links below, and don't forget to use the health and beauty card. Happy shopping. And that is all we've got time for on this week's episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday from 6. Bye, guys.